hey, uh, welcome to science class. Today we're going to talk about animals. And I know you kids all like the fancy animals, okay? But stop being so thirsty for hippos. Because unless you're a Colombian drug lord, you're never going to own one, okay? Instead, today we're going to talk about the animals you'll actually encounter. The ones that will infest your house. Animals like the fruit fly. This is a mild infestation. As far as insects go, fruit flies are pretty chill. They are like most Brooklyn hipsters. Very picky eaters and they have zero upper body strength. Also, they do it doggy style. <laughs> Who knew? <clears throat> anyway, getting rid of them is pretty straightforward. Just stop leaving piles of rotting fruit lying around. Duh! A worse infestation is bed bugs. Much like Army Hamer, they feed on human blood. Getting rid of bed bugs is almost impossible. So if you get them, the best solution is to just leave. Walk out the door, start a new life. Like Miley Cyrus. People think Hannah Montana was a character, but it was just who she was until she got bed bugs. Next up, ladybugs. Or as scientists call them, women bugs. This is maybe the best infestation you can have. They don't really do anything, and for bugs, they look pretty. They're like beetles that just got their nails done. But enough about insects. Let's move on to mammals. Specifically, mice. The freeloader rodents. And to be clear, not all rodents are freeloaders. Uh, just look at squirrels. They're like small business owners, hustling out there, renting storage lockers for their nuts. But mice just want your food. Now, mice like to come into your home because it's nice and cozy. That's why the best way to deter them is to make your home cold and inhospitable, like the Scandinavians. If you do have mice, you'll know because they take these little shits in your house that look exactly like chocolate Tic Tacs, but they are not chocolate Tic Tacs. That's a lesson I learned many, many times. Finally, the king of pests, raccoons. Raccoons evolved millions of years ago when a bear f***ed a monkey. <laughs> of course, I'm just kidding. Science doesn't actually know where they came from. Mostly, they just go through your garbage looking for food and anything they can sell on eBay. They're how nature recycles. You have to be careful around raccoons. They're one of the primary carriers of rabies, a virus that makes animals act like they're from New Jersey. If you see a raccoon foaming at the mouth, do not go near it with a calzone. It will fight you for it. So, yeah. Those are all the animals you actually need to know about. Uh, I hope you found this educational. Now, if you'll excuse me, <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy some of these chocolate Tic Tacs I just found. <laughs> oh, <coughs> oh, damn it. <sighs> okay, well, uh, I'll see you guys next week. Hmm, maybe this one? No, <coughs> no, no, that was poo too.